just a little to the left, just a little to the right. Then make two turns and go off the beaten path. And you're on your way by morning to the Dreaming Star. Yes, folks, it's Dreaming Star Studios with another fascinating inside look at their latest motion picture project. Presented by Fibros, the cereal that makes you shit. And now, here's your host and guide through the wondrous world of movie magic, Mr. Jonathan Leiter. Thank you, Maxwell. As our generous narrator just told you, my name is Jonathan Leiter. I'm what you might call a filmmaker, a dreamweaver by trade, and I've got something very interesting that I'd like to share with you all. Actually, why don't you come inside the television set and we can get better acquainted? There you go. Right on in, that's it. There. That's much better. Here at Dreaming Star Studios, we always have something new and interesting being cooked up. So today, I'd like to share with you our newest and most interesting project to date. It's a short feature entitled, Bill and Maggie's Intergalactic Taxi Service. Now primarily, this is a live action picture, but it borrows so much from both animation and video games that it almost sits in its own category. Genre-wise, it is a sci-fi fantasy, steampunk adventure in space, which also has silent dialogue and is all around a fun-loving comedy. Sound a bit too much like a nutty idea? Well, don't worry. By the end of this program, I'm sure you'll come to understand it a lot more. Now, our story takes place about 500 years into our future when the sea levels have risen and the entire world has reverted back to the power of steam. Everything is run by steam. The houses, the cars, the vehicles, the motorcycles, even the television and all forms of communication. The world has also gone full force into recycling. Every single building and vehicle that you see is comprised of multiple different parts and pieces of different materials, different colors, and all from different time periods. Now, the story of our little picture goes a little something like this. It all starts with a man named Captain Bill Sprocket and his young daughter, Maggie Sprocket. They both run their own family business called the Sprocket Space Shuttle Service, transporting people and goods across intergalactic space. On the one hand, Maggie feels that she's ready to pilot the ship all by herself. But on the other, Captain Bill thinks it'll be quite some time before she's had enough training. Now on one particular day, Bill is called upon by the English royal government to serve as the official transport of Queen Victoria IV to an international meeting on Pluto, which is the biggest job Bill has ever had. But fate plays a cruel hand, as while Bill is conversing with the Queen's royal advisor, Lord Sheldon, Bill's ship is stolen and the Queen and Maggie both go missing. So without a moment's hesitation, Bill and the Queen's entourage snap into action and set off in hot pursuit of the stolen vessel. And simply put, hijinks ensue. But I know what you must be thinking. How are we going to make all of this stuff happen for such a small budget? Well, that's where the beauty comes in. You see, we're going to avoid convention and aim for something a bit more grounded in tradition. Just like the theatrical designers and silent filmmakers of the early 1900s, we'll be designing our film to look like a theater stage, with background and foreground elements represented by two-dimensional matte paintings. Anything our actors touch will be a live object, like a prop or a set piece, and many of the things in space will be designed as miniatures to give it scale and depth. The remainder of our film will then be painted in levels to create a multiplane camera effect, much like the game Rayman Legends, which is actually one of our chief inspirations. On top of this, there will also be portions of flash animation, hand-drawn animation, and stop-motion animation to create some of our vehicle effects, smoke effects, and anything we couldn't do just with a standalone painting. The decision to go this route was simple. While 3D digital animation is the order of the day, for our short film it seemed just a bit too complex and time-consuming to use as a practical tool. 
The number of shots combined with the level of texturing and modeling required to create the final image would have simply been too great for our time constraints. And so the idea to go a more traditional route and use traditional mediums made the most sense. And by that same accord, we'll be going in an unconventional direction for our musical score. When you think of space epics, you normally think of broad orchestral pieces like the Planet Suite by Gustav Holst, the theme to 2001, and many of the songs from the Star Wars franchise. But since our film is a comedy, and one with a fantastical nature to it, we thought we'd go in the direction of certain Japanese animes like Cowboy Bebop, Space Adventure Cobra, and Irresponsible Captain Tyler, and use... a jazz soundtrack. Now this is still in the planning stages and so these ideas may change, but what we're thinking of doing now is creating a series of songs that all blend together to create one seamless soundtrack, while at the same time utilizing different genres of jazz to express different moods in each of our sequences. When we're in space, you'll hear a New Age styled smooth jazz to reflect the beauty and endless wonder of our universe. When we're on Earth, you'll hear a more casual lounge jazz to reflect the familiarity of an airport, a train station, or even Disneyland. But then we'll change it up and utilize big band jazz to reflect the intense rhythm and movement during our action sequences. Now, as I stated before, there are many, many things that continue to influence and inspire this film as we move through production. Things like Rayman Legends, Dark Cloud 2, The Grand Budapest Hotel, Baron Munchausen, Wander Over Yonder, Doctor Who, Animaniacs, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Castle in the Sky and Howl's Moving Castle, the Professor Layton Games, Spy Fox, and the anime Sherlock Hound. Not all the same kind of inspiration came from each of these things, but elements from all of them can be found in numerous aspects of production. Plenty of other TV shows, films, and games also shaped the way this project has developed, and some of our crew members are fans of those as well. So now we come to... oh. Oh, I forgot I dropped those there. <laughs> so now we come to the subject of donations. We have such an interesting bunch of rewards for you that I've asked the world's foremost expert on Indiegogo perks to come and speak to you all about our wonderful rewards packages. So now here he is, appearing for the first time on TV and the interwebs, is Professor Archibald P. Von Dubin. Good evening. Now the first thing I would like to say is, freeze! No, no, not you. I was talking to him, the little buffer sign there. And I didn't mean for you to actually freeze. I meant freeze because I wanted you to not stop playing the video because I'm the professor and I'm going to give a lecture. <coughs> well, anyway, let me begin by saying that we have a wonderful list of Indiegogo perks here for you, the kind and generous potential viewer, to receive. Now, as for tiers, there are 12 different possibilities to choose from. There's the $1 tier, the $5 tier, the $10, the $25, the $50, and all the way up to $1,000. And for each of these tiers, there are numerous different things that you could get, such as art cards, limited edition poster prints, a digital and DVD copy of the film with extra features, and even an associate producer's credit. But my favorite perk happens to be the $250 tier, where you'll receive something special. For your $250, you'll receive an original caricature of yourself, dressed as the captain of your very own spaceship vessel, complete with your favorite color or color scheme. And all of these caricatures will be drawn and painted by the director himself. There's examples of his work in the gallery section if you're interested. Oh, and remember, you must submit photographs of yourself to the production email in order for these caricatures to be made. 
Along with that, if you cannot donate directly to the project, sharing this project on social media with your friends and family is always appreciated. Their project may be small, but the ambition is high, and we could use all the help we can get. So spread the word, everybody! Preach it to the world! Every bit helps a whole heck of a lot. Well, that's it for the professor here. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> well, there you have it. And that's it for us here at Dreaming Star Studios. I hope you've enjoyed your time with us, and we can't wait for you to experience and enjoy our new film, Bill and Maggie's Intergalactic Taxi Service. So please come back again and see us sometime. We've always got something new and exciting in the works. Take care, everyone. <laughs>